a night in America where we have a the 2024 presidential election, including the Senate, House, and governor's races. We have Ron DeSantis, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, place, facing incumbent President Joe Biden. Ron DeSantis' vice president is South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Here's the CNN expert prediction. They're predicting a blue wave. The approval of President Biden is 45% of people approving of him and 55% disapproving. The approval of Ron DeSantis is 52% approving and 48% disapproving. 7 p.m. Eastern Time poll closings. Indiana. The state of Indiana goes to Ron DeSantis. Indiana Senate goes to Jim Banks. This is a new senator. Indiana governor goes to Mike Braun, their senator, who is now their governor. Ver- the Vermont goes to Joe Biden. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is re-elected. Vermont governor, however, goes to Phil Scott. They traditionally vote blue, however, on the governor's races. They do tend to be more conservative. Virginia is too close to call, with Ron DeSantis l- l- losing to Joe Biden by around 2%. This is a very key race. Virginia Senate is also too close to call, with Glenn, Governor F- Glenn Youngkin leading Tim Kaine. This is expected to be one of the most key races of the Senate tonight. Ron DeSantis is projected to win the state of Kentucky. He wins South Carolina. Georgia is too close to call, too early to call. Biden is destroying DeSantis, but these are uh, these are the urban votes. This will be a key race tonight. R- to, on the road to 270, Ron DeSantis has 28 electorals and Joe Biden has three. On the road to 51 for a majority in the Senate, Mitch McConnell has 38 seats and the Republican Party. Chuck Schumer and the Democrat Party has 30 seats. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time poll closings. Ohio is too close to call. This is a key state. DeSantis is leading by around 4%. Ohio Senate is also too close to call. Sherrod Brown is leading by 4%. This was the race where the Democrats spent the most trying to defend Sherrod Brown. We'll see if it works. North Carolina, where Ron DeSantis is leading by 2%, also a key state in this race. North Carolina governor, where Mark Robinson is trailing Josh Stein. The Democrats, the the Republican here, Mark Robinson, is known for being very radical on social issues. West Virginia is projected to go to Ron DeSantis. West Virginia Senate is goes to Jim Justice. This is a gain. Unseating Senator Joe Manchin right off the po- poll closings. That's already one gain for the Republicans. West Virginia governor going to Patrick Morrissey. 32 electoral votes on the road to 270 for DeSantis. And on the road to 5139, the Republicans have already gained one seat. 8 p.m. Eastern Time poll closings. Maine is too close to call with Ron DeSantis leading. Maine District 1 is projected for Biden. Maine District 2 is too close to call. Maine Senate is projected for Angus King. He is re-elected. New Hampshire is too close to call. New Hampshire governor, however, is projected off the ballot for Chris Sununu. Miss Massachusetts goes to Joe Biden. The Senate, they re-elect Elizabeth Warren. Rhode Island goes to Joe Biden. They re-elect Sheldon Whitehouse. Connecticut goes to Joe Biden. Connecticut Senate goes to Chris Murphy. New Jersey goes to Joe Biden. New Jersey Senate goes to Bob Menendez. Delaware goes to Joe Biden. Delaware Senate goes to Tom Carper. And Delaware Governor goes to Bethany Long. Maryland goes to Joe Biden. Maryland Senate goes to Jamie Raskin. Washington, D.C. goes to Joe Biden. Pennsylvania, this is a very key race and could end up deciding the White House tonight. It is too close to call with Ron DeSantis leading by around 8%. Pennsylvania Senate, where David McCormick is trailing incumbent Senator Bob Casey. This is a key race in the Senate tonight. Florida, where Ron DeSantis is leading Joe Biden by around 10%. The Florida Senate, where Rick Scott is leading Stephanie Murphy. Ron DeSantis has to win Florida for him to become president. That is also his home state where he is governor of. Ron DeSantis wins Tennessee. Marsha Blackburn wins Senate. Alabama goes to DeSantis. Mississippi to DeSantis. Mississippi Senate going to Roger Wicker. Louisiana going to DeSantis. Missouri going to DeSantis. Josh Hawley going to DeSantis. This is a race Democrats spent a lot 
on. However, Josh Hawley wins right off the bat. Missouri Governor going to Jay Ashcroft. Oklahoma going to Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis is at 83, while Joe Biden is at 56. And Mitch McConnell is at 42, while Democrats are at 37 in the Senate. Arkansas goes to Ron DeSantis, 89. No change in the Senate. 8 p- 9 p.m. poll closings. These are the biggest poll closings of the night with a lot of electoral prizes for Democrats. Joe Biden wins New York. New York Senate goes to Kirsten Gillibrand. Illinois goes to Joe Biden. Michigan is too close to call. This is a key race tonight. Ron DeSantis leading by around 4% in Senate. John James barely beating Elisa Slotkin. Wisconsin is too close to call. This could very well decide the White House tonight with Ron DeSantis leading Joe Biden. In the Senate, Mike Gallagher is barely leading against Tammy Baldwin. Minnesota, it's very close, but Joe Biden has a lead. Minnesota Senate, Brad, Amy Klobuchar is beating Brad Finstad. In Texas, Ron DeSantis is winning. If Joe Biden wins Texas, it is impossible for DeSantis to win. Ted Cruz is beating Colin Alred. Ron DeSantis wins Kansas. Ron DeSantis wins Nebraska. Their Senate election goes to Deb Fisker. Their special Senate election goes to Pete Ricketts, their former governor. Nebraska District 2, Joe Biden was leading. South Dakota goes to Ron DeSantis, North Dakota to DeSantis, and their Senate to Kevin Kramer. North Dakota governor goes to Doug Burgum. Wyoming goes to Ron DeSantis. Wyoming Senate to John Barroso. Colorado is too close to call with Biden leading, but rurals report first here. New Mexico, Biden also leading too close to call. New Mexico Senate, however, can be projected for Martin Heinrich. Arizona is too close to call. This is a key race and could block DeSantis from the presidency if Biden wins it. Arizona is too close to call. Arizona Senate is too close to call, where we see Kimberly Yee barely leading against Democrat Ruben Gallego and independent Kristen Sinema splitting a lot of the vote. We have some major projections. The state of Florida and its 30 electoral votes go to Ron DeSantis. Florida Senate goes to Rick Scott. Ohio goes to Ron DeSantis. Ohio Senate goes to Frank LaRose. This is a pickup against Sherrod Brown and the Democrats. Unseating Sherrod Brown, Democrats spent the most amount of money here, but it seems polarization was too much to overcome. Maine goes to Joe Biden. Virginia goes to Joe Biden. Tim Kaine beats off Glenn Youngkin in a very close election. Democrats had to spend a lot of money here. But Tim Kaine is able to win. Ron DeSantis at 155, with Biden at 118. Mitch McConnell in the Republican Party is two seats away and they have already gained two seats this night. Iowa, Ron DeSantis is destroying Joe Biden. Montana goes to DeSantis. Montana Senate is projected for Ryan Zink, who unseats incumbent John Tester right off the bat. Polarization was too much to overcome in a lot of these races for Democrats. Montana governor goes to Greg Gianfort. Idaho goes to Ron DeSantis. Utah goes to Ron DeSantis. Utah Senate goes to Mitt Romney. There was some challenge to primary him here, but he defeated that easily. Utah governor going to Spencer Cox. The Senate is now projected for the Republican Party. That means despite the presidential results, there will be a Republican Senate that the president will have to deal with if Biden wins. 51 Senate seats, as you can see. It's 11 p.m. poll closings. Washington goes to Joe Biden. Washington Senate going to Mary A. Cantwell. Washington Governor going to Jay Inslee. Oregon for Biden. California for Biden. California Senate going to Ro Khanna. Major projections. Ron DeSantis wins Texas. And Texas Senate going to Ted Cruz. Colorado goes to Joe Biden. New Mexico goes to Joe Biden. That's 209 to 207. That means this is very close. Mitch Mc- Republicans at 52 Senate seats so far. There, Hawaii goes to Joe Biden. Hawaii Senate going to Mar- Maisie Hirono. Major projections. Minnesota Senate goes to Amy Klobuchar. Iowa Presidential goes to DeSantis. Main District 2 to DeSantis. Nebraska District 2 to Biden. 216 to 212. Very close presidential race we're seeing. 52 Senate seats for the Republican Party. 
Alaska goes to Ron DeSantis, and we have some major projections. North Carolina goes to Ron DeSantis. This is a key state. North Carolina governor goes to Mark Robinson. This is a pickup. Democrats expected to win this race, but in a stunning upset, Mark Robinson is carried by DeSantis' coattails to win the North Carolina governor's race. Georgia goes to Ron DeSantis. Arizona goes to Ron DeSantis. Arizona Senate going to Kimberly Yee. Kristen Sinema switching to an independent helps split the vote. 262 for DeSantis and 212 for Biden. Biden could still very well win this election. 53 Senate seats for the Republican Party. Major projections. Wisconsin and his 10 electoral votes go to Ron DeSantis, making Ron DeSantis the next president of the United States. Wisconsin Senate goes to Tammy Baldwin. Nevada goes to Ron DeSantis. Nevada Senate going to Jackie Rosen. Ron DeSantis takes to Twitter to announce his victory. Minnesota going to Joe Biden. President Biden has officially conceded. New Hampshire going to Biden. Pennsylvania Senate going to Bob Casey Jr. Michigan going to Biden. Michigan Senate going to Elisa Slotkin. Pennsylvania going to Joe Biden. Ron DeSantis has 278 electorals and Joe Biden has 260. These are the final, this is the final presidential map and Ron DeSantis is the next president of the United States. R- Mitch McConnell and the Republican Party have 53 Senate seats, which means he will have a favorable Senate to govern with. And here this is the finals governor's map. Thank you for watching this video. Like and subscribe for more 2024 election content.